If you're not brand new to this channel, maybe you know that I'm conducting three choirs. One of the choirs is a choir with retired people, elderly. And now that choir and an orchestra for retired people and a dance group and some folk music uh, people and uh, soloists and a jazz band are going to do a concert together. It's a big thing for them and they have uh, hired me as their conductor and musical leader. So I will be the youngest of the bunch, which is crazy in itself. But uh, now I'm going to attend uh, the first rehearsal for me, the first rehearsal with the orchestra. They invited me to come and listen to rehearsal because I wrote all the arrangements and I'm gonna be the leader later on, the conductor for all people on stage, the choir, orchestra and so on. Approximately there's gonna be around 120 people on stage. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. that is uh, leading this orchestra normally he's gonna play bass on the concert later and now he's conducting and he's 87 years old I know and I don't even think that he's the oldest person in this orchestra. some of the people in the orchestra they also sing in the choir they just live for music they practice every day they are looking forward to every rehearsal the rehearsals are actually the highlight of their week one of those is Eva. she plays piano in the orchestra and sings soprano in the choir i asked her how how's it going <laughs> And of course, when it comes to amateur orchestras, orchestras in general, it's time for coffee. We tar med den här klockan till replokalen. Så när det är knöligt i någon och vi inte riktigt kan, så ringer vi på den, så kommer de och hjälper oss. Now it's time to rehearse with the choir. Later, we're gonna rehearse both choir and orchestra together, of course, but we rehearse separately so far. This choir is retired people, ages between 70 and 90, and they are 80 people in the choir. It's going to be crowded, but it's going to be fun, and they are looking forward to this so much. So that makes me also excited to do my job. I also did a mock-up using samples in Logic. Several reasons for that. One is so that every member can get a sense of how the piece should be when we perform it together, but also so they can rehearse to something, so they're not alone rehearsing by themselves. And we also did use that recording in the group. This is the place where the concert is going to be and this is a sports arena but they build it for concerts also and they have a stage they can just take it down from the wall but it isn't big enough so now we are talking about how can we make it bigger because there's a lot of people involved and not only is there a lot of people that gonna have must have space on stage there's also Questions like where should they go when the other part is playing? Like when the orchestra is playing, where should the choir go? When the dancers are dancing, what should the orchestra and the choir do? All those things. And also up and down on stage. That was a big problem. We need a lot of stairs. This is your idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, 
Do you think it's going to work? Yes. Of course. <laughs> a few weeks before the concert, it's time for me to start rehearsing with the orchestra and conducting with this conductor stick, which I which I hate using. I rather conduct with just my hands, but the orchestra, they are so used to looking at the stick, so I do it for them. It's a bit amusing to be the youngest person performing on this concert. To be retired in Swedish, we call it pensionär. Pensionär. Until next time, Roger that.